fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white with red and blue, and officially weighing in at 174 pounds. His professional record, an outstanding one, consisting of 32 victories, including 19 knockouts with only one defeat. Tonight, he comes to the ring ready to shock the world. Ladies and gentlemen, from the steel city of the UK, he's the pride of Sheffield, England, the former WBC international champion, former European champion, and two-time British Commonwealth champion. Here is the WBC number one ranked light heavyweight contender in the world, Clinton. Fighting out of the red corner, wearing navy blue, and officially weighing 174 and three quarter pounds. Since being named the best boxer of the 1988 Olympics, he now has a professional record of 46 victories, including 37 knockouts. His only loss, a disqualification, avenged by first round KO in a rematch, places him among the elite in boxing history as a man to have defeated every opponent he has ever faced. And he is the consensus pound for pound best boxer in the world of the past decade. From Pensacola, Florida, the four time world champion, former middleweight, former super middleweight, and the two time reigning, defending, undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world. The ring is a little bit uneven here, so you might want to walk around here. Also, I want to take a minute to clean up all this mess that came down out of the ceiling. So I want to send you back to your corners. Do you have any questions? Go ahead, button the hip bone. Good luck. I, I, yeah, I need someone to help me clean this shit up. Large size confetti cluttering the ring. Someone could slip on it. You know, it's strange that Roy Jones doesn't have any sweat on his back. Chest is pretty dry. That could be an opening if Woods is ready to take it. Part of Roy Jones' genius is that he creates such low expectations for serious competition that virtually anything that happens can surprise us. What will it be tonight? Well, in his last right. fight against Glenn Kelly, he earned kudos by knocking Kelly out with his hands behind his back. You may recall him putting his hands behind his back, grabbing the ropes in Miami, and then literally popping off the ropes with the one straight shot that dumped Kelly on his back. Round one begins with Clinton Woods trying to do what he said he'd do and swarm Jones. Now he feels Jones' speed and power for the first time. Got to be a shocking experience. With his long torso, you wonder whether he's vulnerable to a body punch, Jones having stopped several opponents with body punches. He's going right after Roy Jones, Jr. He's getting him up against the rope. That's what you want to do, go to his body, hit him one shot at a time. Don't try to finish it all in one round. When, he, when we met with Woods yesterday, and he said, I'm going to swarm Jones, I'm going to attack him, I'm going to go at him. I looked at him and I said, you know, Glenn Kelly said the same thing. And he said, yeah, but that's not Glenn Kelly's style. Glenn Kelly's a boxer. He was trying to do something he can't do. This is all I do is swarm people. So maybe he will do better than Kelly did. Well, if he does swarm, though, that will leave him open for Jones's fast hands and combinations. <laughs> He's going to get picked apart by Jones's fast hands at any distance. Woods got in 
the right hand there. Sneaked it through Jones' guard. It's going to take Jones a moment because he didn't come out. Warmed, warmed up, up, you know. Yep. He's going to catch a lot of shots until he gets warm. Stop! Stop! You keep your head up. Box. Michael Moore was dry against David Tua in Atlantic City a few weeks ago, and he was gone in the first round as a partial result. Jones with a big left hook. Many fighters have come out determined to do what Woods is determined to do, but soon enough, as they catch punches like that, they lose their will to come forward. Shotting Clint Woods. Woods resolutely pressing forward. Hangs Jones into the ropes and lands one to the body. Is there a spot of blood on Woods' nose? That's 10 seconds. Hard to say. It could be just that it's red. It might just be an abrasion. Beautiful work, man. Beautiful work. Beautiful work. Right now. <coughs> All right. Body attack is working great. Way to look to that body. Way to work. You guys are working good. That's on my back. My left shoulder. My left shoulder. All right. Don't work inside. Yeah? That's good. Drink, drink, <laughs> pretty much. One camera on the ropes yeah. up here, one camera. Be first, don't wait, okay? When you get him on the ropes, that's when you work. Doing good, doing good. Be a bit, a, bit, a, bit, a, bit, a bit more work. The left hand that has separated Roy Jones from most of his opponents. Ability to feint his position, or opponents out of position. He's leading with the left hook. Does a lot of dazzling things in there. Round one, Jones 17 out of 38, 45%. Woods 7 out of 32. Jones mostly power shots, of course. <laughs> now Jones seems to begin to warm up and throws punches more frequently. Suddenly decides to jab. One thing about Jones, you can't worry about what people say about your opponent. When you're in with a fighter like Woods, you better try to get it over with. Don't try to create 12 rounds of trouble for yourself. I asked him how Woods compared to another previous opponent who was tall, Julio Gonzalez. He didn't think Woods was quite as strong as Gonzalez, but that he might take a punch better. And Woods is able to swarm Jones against the ropes and land a couple of body shots. So already Clinton Woods has done more than Glenn Kelly did in Jones' most recent fight. <laughs> making a mistake by stopping and thinking you just allow Jones to operate too much yes, it's an interesting thing as gifted as he is Jones doesn't customarily throw a lot of punches so if you if you force him to throw more punches if you take him out of his rhythm maybe it'll gain you something you got to stay busy keep your height Woods is bending down a lot right to where Jones punches are <laughs> Is that where Woods wants the fight to That's be? That's where you want to keep the fight. When you when Roy Jones is against the rope, he doesn't throw any shots at all. Hand speed. Jones 
pop, pop, popping on Woods' face. Woods' hands perhaps a little faster than Jones expected them to be. That's 10 seconds. Big shot to punctuate the round by Jones. Best punch of the fight. Tune in September 17 for the next edition of Real Sports with Brian Gumbel. We'll bring you the story of former professional jockey Randy Romero, now suffering from kidney and liver failure as the result of years of unnatural methods of weight loss, a problem alarmingly common among jockeys. After I finished, I ate it. I just went to the bathroom and threw it up. And wouldn't leave it in my system very long. Real sports. Nothing is out of bounds. Here you go. A little Vaseline on my hand. Okay. Put a little Vaseline on. He showed us the left. And here is that right. Those are not heavy punches, concussive punches, but they are punches. In round two, Roy Jones threw 27 jabs. Not sure we've ever seen him throw more jabs than that in any one round. He only landed two of them, mostly sticking the jab out there short of Woods' face. Overall, Jones 16 out of 56, 29% in that round. Woods 11 out of 47. Big left hand by Clinton Woods. Sometimes an empty gun shoots. This guy's determined. Hard to fight guys who are determined. Talent means nothing. He is not psychologically overwhelmed the way Glenn Kelly was, that's for sure. No. Sometimes they say ignorance is bliss. And Roy Jones starts to open up to the body. He realizes now that this guy's going to take a shot. He's going to take body punches, pecking here and there before you go to the head so much. Great right hand, left hook to the body. Jones always has that habit of staring his opponent's chest down, even while landing punches upstairs. Jones's quickness and speed allowing him to pot shot Clint Woods. Working a little harder than Roy has been forced to do in many of his fights. This is where you can really start to hurt that right hand if you're not careful how you turn it over properly. The guy's got a strong chin and he's going to take a lot of right hand. Woods. Jones lands a big uppercut. Woods keeps coming. Jones lands the uppercut again. Left hand uppercut painting Clinton Woods. Woods can take a shot. Rips Jones with the left hook. They trade punches along the ropes. It's a real fight in Portland. Jones showing he can fight off the ropes as well as in the middle of the ring. There's something about all of the good fighters that are coming from England now. Lead right hand by Jones, momentarily stunned Woods. Woods got to be careful. You just can't let Roy Jones keep hitting on you round after round. You got to move your head some. Left hook lands flush. Roy Jones' his right eye is swelling above the eyelid. I think Jones might have caught him with the left hand, might have caught him with the thumb.